I so I received another comment I'm going to respond to not entirely because this person wrote way too much but I'll respond to some of the key points in it the main thing they're wanting to know is what do I want what exactly is it that I'm wanting to happen I'm wanting to be believed I'm wanting to be heard I'm wanting to feel like a human being that is heard when she speaks and it's I can't and this person is saying nobody is denying the abuse for the past four years my aunt her children her sisters their children and my sisters have been actively publicly openly vehemently denying that any abuse ever took place in any faction of our family or any mental illness exists in any faction of our family and that I have been lying about everything. My aunt tells people that mental illness is a scam, that I'm not schizophrenic, I'm just lazy and don't want to work and this is how lazy people scam the government to get out of working. That's what my aunt believes. That's what she has gone on record as saying. She still, if you look at her community tab like last week she was saying I'm a scammer when I'm literally not even getting money. Like if I receive donations I get maybe between 20 and $50 a month which most people would not consider scam artist amounts of money. Most people would consider that livable amounts of money. Like <laughs> that that's an extra 20 from your dad when you go out on the weekend. Most people don't consider that a scam. My family does because they see everything as bad. So when this person and the first words out of their mouth is saying, nobody is saying that, yes, people have been saying that. That's exactly why I have been feeling this urge to be believed. When I first told it, I was believed. And then my aunt came out and she did these interviews with her daughter where people started coming and attacking me and saying, you were never abused. Your family has spoken out. They outed you. They said everything. They told everything. Everybody knows now you were never abused. There was never any abuse. There was never any mental illness. And it, it, they are lying. My family is literally abusing me now by abusing, by denying the abuse in the past. And she later changed her story because I fucked her up enough that she finally admitted the truth. She finally got tired of denying, which is part of the point. If I say it enough times, they will get tired of denying it and they will start telling the truth because that nobody wants to live a lie for the rest of their lives. Nobody wants to spend years, decades living a lie. Nobody wants to continue going over and over and over a lie. Eventually, my aunt did come on and say, well, there, it, it was a, there was abuse, but it was towards her mother. Her mother was getting the shit kicked out of her every single night. Mary's not abused by her mother being abused. Yes, Kathy. Yes, viewers. Yes. Living in a home where your mother is being beaten nightly is abusive to the children in the home. And if you're in a home where the mother is being beaten nightly, how are you so positive that no child is being injured in that home? My grandmother told me of the injuries that happened to me when I was small. She told me that my vagina was inflamed when I was a couple of months old after coming home from my parents' home. She knew what it was that she was looking at. That's why she kept me as much as she did because she knew what was happening in that house. Yes, my family has denied 
the abuse. And it has driven me insane. It has driven me to find the truth, to validate these things that I know are real, that my family is denying. It is a conspiracy against me from my entire family. And anybody that speaks out will be attacked. The only reason that I know that my father and my sister got in trouble with the law for attacking the neighbor's house using my brother's dirty diapers is because my neighbor told me that story. But my neighbor will not speak out publicly because my neighbor was attacked for telling me that story privately because my sisters recognized where the story came from and sent people after her online. People are scared to go public because of the cyberbullying community that has rallied around my sisters, my aunt, her children, that are willing to do anything they need to do to silence the one dissenting voice, which is mine. This is not something that I am making up. This is actually not a paranoid delusion. This is this is happening on my main channel over on Adrasdia for the last four years. This is part of the reason that I've left that channel is because they've slandered my name so much that I feel like I'll never be heard. I'll never be believed. I'll never be a person with my own feet, with my own past, my own feelings, because everything that I say, there's somebody in my family that is standing behind me saying, no, 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 don't believe a word. And they're lying. They're lying. And I, I, I can show you where my aunt has lied over and over and over again. And there's literally nothing I can do to make these people believe that they are lying. My father started having sex with me when I was 13 years old. My family is lying to you when they say that never happened. They are lying. And they have the support. They have thousands on their side. I'm alone. I'm entirely alone with nothing but my truth. But what I know happened, what I know is real. There are some fragments of pain that I know for a fact have to be real because it hurts too much. It's too clear and it's too real for it to not be real. And my family is going to keep insisting and her fans are going to keep insisting And all I want is for my truth to be heard and believed. I'm tired of screaming out and begging and pleading for somebody to believe me over my family. <laughs> when do I get my chance to be a human being? <laughs> They've taken everything. <laughs> When my grandmother passed away, she left me well taken care of, but they refused to read the will. They just took everything and left me to die. And now they're mad that I didn't die. So they're lashing out and they're hurting me and it's, they have thousands to help them. And I'm alone against their thousands. The other person, one of the other things this person said was that my parents were clearly mentally unwell. So I shouldn't judge them for what they did because they were abused and they were mentally ill. Abusing somebody because you have been abused is not a valid excuse, especially once you're aware that what you're doing is abusive. If you want to say my family is doing what they're doing, not understanding, just because it's what's normal for them, because it, they've all been abused, I can understand that. I can see that. I can say, yes, my aunt has lived abuse in her life. My aunt is also traumatized. My aunt is also mentally ill. 
these things are true. But if you tell somebody that they're abusing you and they continue to abuse you because they don't care, why should you, the victim be expected to be forgiving? to be the bigger person. Why should I be expected to sit here and say, well, they were sick. That's your, I'm not going to make excuses for my abusers anymore. Yes, they are all sick. I am sick. We all have the same opportunity to change and get better. I'm trying. I'm trying to get better, but part of getting better is remembering all of the things that broke me to begin with. The things that created the monster that you all hate so much. In order to heal and move on and change, you have to remember it. You have to suffer through it and you have to acknowledge that it was wrong. My parents never acknowledged that what they went through was wrong or what they did was wrong. My aunt will never acknowledge that what she's gone through is wrong or that what she is doing is wrong. I am acknowledging what I went through was wrong. What I'm going through is wrong. The things that I've put people through are wrong. The th people have suffered because I was sick and hurt others without realizing that I was hurting them. People are currently suffering because my family is sick and they are hurting people without realizing that they are hurting them. That's why you can't just sweep it under the rug and make it all okay just because of mental illness or tra trauma. Yes, trauma and mental illness exists in all of our lives. If you can acknowledge it, you can work on it and you can make yourself a better person. But if you're living in a world where nobody will even acknowledge what you've gone through because they're too ashamed to look at themselves and to question whether they should change, whether they need help, that's the situation I'm in. The only reason my family doesn't want to acknowledge what happened is because they don't want to change themselves. They don't want to hold themselves accountable. They don't want to see it as something that they could have done anything about. They want to see it as just the way of the world. We all fend for ourselves, and the idea of an adult taking care of a child is ludicrous. That child takes care of itself in my family, or it gets humiliated. I haven't lied. I have been going on and on for years. And I have been telling the truth to the best of my ability. This all would have fizzled out and I would have just gone back to mostly gaming and video and movie reviews if it wasn't for the fact that my abusive family has these thousands of cyberbullying YouTubers and just people online trying to hurt me, trying to stop me from speaking out, trying to invalidate everything that I've ever said. And I won't be silenced. I'll get louder. I'll find a way to sh to get the proof. But I won't be silenced. I'm tired of being silenced. I've spent so many years being quiet about it. I've spent so many years not telling anybody because I didn't want to get people in trouble. I deserved to be hurt, and I didn't want to get anybody in trouble for it because I deserved it. Because they told me I deserved it. And you know what? I don't. I don't deserve it. I didn't then, and I don't now. 
and neither does anybody else.